McGuire against Concap. He should wear him out. Into the hoop, and he hits, and a foul. You call that when he did. He put it down real well and finished off a chance for a three-point play. The constant switching, switching on the part of the Hawks, leaving them in some bad mismatches. The Pistons are reading them real well. A few times they've not finished off plays. This time, Mark where I did finish it off very, very well. Bad coming to life. Isaiah's bounce swiped by Webb. And Dumars fouls him, then holds him up. Now we're getting some playoff that, fouls. That looked like the playoffs. Maybe they didn't start quite on time at 8 o'clock, but they're starting right now. Good play. Spud Webb at the line, thanks to a tough Joe Dumars foul. He made two against the double team. Comcac and Webb. Cross court lob, swiped by Wilkins, and Isaiah with a playoff foul. Make sure Dominique does it dunk. You can't even see the basket from back there. There have been no easy layups, but there have been too many easy baskets, pull up shots for the Hawks. Wilkins at the line, and now he has 23. Isaiah bothered him just enough there. Indiana now leads in Boston by two as the Pistons run the break. Lambeer misses, gets it back, and he is fouled. <laughs> Moses Malone's going to get a technical foul. Jake O'Donnell will give Bill Lambeer the heave because... He retaliated. Bill Lambeer's been ejected. Boy, does that hurt with nine minutes to go in the game. Somebody's going to have to step up now, and the Pistons trail this thing by 11. Isaiah gets it back topside, fakes the triple. Starts the dribble, here he goes through the hole. A hard foul. Isaiah will stay down, hopefully for a rest. Dennis Rodman covered him to make sure nobody else hit him after he was down. Willis with the foul is fourth. Well, I don't think he got hit in the wrist. He got hit in the body very hard. They'll call a flagrant foul on Willis. He makes 101.98. 4.1 seconds to go. Wilkins to Rivers, he's fouled by Isaiah. Doc took exception, at least a little, to Isaiah's sixth foul. Lost control of the ball going up. He does get a new 24-second clock, and he'll come back with it. Bedford kept it alive. Comcac and Bedford tie it up and go down like two wrestlers. Hard to the mat here at the Palace. Good hustle. Now, you know, you're looking at that at Bedford. You know, very, very tall fella, 7'1", 235, with the real long arms. Atlanta called a 20-second timeout as Bob Weiss came all the way over half-court line to talk to Mike Mathis. There's how hard these players hit the floor on that Bedford and Concac. Rodman pushed him 15 feet away from the basket. Now, here's the double team. Two spud web to Willis. Excellent rotation. Oh, terrific rotation by Detroit. And then... The old story, when you get double teamed, it's not the first pass. Webb was open on the first pass. Here it comes, here comes that rotation. You must make the second pass, and there it is. That's the strong move. Look at this move right here. He was going for the tomahawk dunk. John Battle coming off a baseline screen. Nine to shoot, Wilkins isolated against Rodman. And Rodman called for the foul as he and Dominique go down. Now that was very, very close. Rodman is pushing Wilkins very far out to receive the pass. You see, he's way out past the three-point line. Now, watch the anticipation here. Watch the footballs. Look at this. All right, now, was, was that a block? 
definitely because he never got in front of him. This is some matchup here. See, Spider Man's Sally on Wilkins. Lame Beer with a big push on Willis. Willis missed everything after the push. No whistle. Oh, boy. Sally with the offensive foul on the hip as he knocked down Spud Webb. Rivers to the goal. No. But Hugh Holland has whistled a piston foul. Wire against the double team. Isaiah from the baseline to the hole. Montfrey for the grab and hang on foul. Good ball movement that time by the Pistons. The ball got reversed from one side of the floor to the other. Isaiah put the ball on the floor and got out the basket real well. There's the ball being swung one side to another. One side to another is almost essential in playoff basketball. There's the very end of it. Good call by the official. Moncrief went up, committed a hard foul, but it was not a flagrant foul. Isaiah swung his arm back. Just a natural reaction. Bobby Weiss crying foul. Isaiah to the hole. That's a flagrant foul. It's got to be. That is a very, very cheap shot. See what the call is going to be. All you're going to get is a personal on Doc Rivers. Good strong drive by Isaiah to the basket. Goes up through the face rather than to the basketball. We didn't have to finish by throwing him down. That's my point. I think Doc and Conkett got a piece of the face. Isaiah double gives to Billy. Dumars by himself in the corner. Another Joe Dumars triple. And Willis knocked Rodman down. Oh. Gets up and bumps Willis in the head. And Eddie Rush calls it a technical foul. And they missed that. Now they're going to call that foul. They, they had that, and Dennis should have let it go at that. But he didn't like it, and he had to go over there and bump heads. And so he neutralized a little bit of this advantage he gets here on the ball. Rivers did make the technical foul free throw. Seven forty remaining second quarter. John Battle using the left hand. Poor shot that time. Aguirre swoops in and gets pushed. Foul is on Moncrief. Detroit did not give him that. Mark Aguirre now you, you'll see Sidney Moncrief come in, go for the body instead of the ball. I'm surprised they don't call that flagrant. Gets inside position and Lane Beer clobbers it. I see that started the time down before and Kevin Willis talked to Jess Kersey and said, look, he's beating up on me. He's pushing off on the play. You have to call that because it's going to turn into something a lot more serious. Lane Beer was ejected from game one of the series. And there might be a double technical foul on the play. Now watch Lambert. He's going to foul right here. He'll get him early. The whistle has already blown right now. Ooh. Still, he pushes again, and Kevin Willis pushes off also. That was a karate shot by Lambert. Wilkins with the steal, and here comes Spud Webb, who was scoreless in the first half, and he's roughed up by Isaiah Thomas. It'll be a two-shot foul. Well, I think that's a good call. Spud Webb had penetrated past Isaiah. You'll see him right on this play. He's in the paint area. He already has the ball up going towards the rim and Spud still with the follow through. He has nine rebounds tonight. Contact pushed Rodman and he's picked up his fourth foul. <laughs> I think Rodman and Lane Barrel and, and Sally all must go to a private dance teacher to learn how to flop. I think in practice they must hold, uh, you know, big man <laughs> drills. They must hold flop drills. <laughs> uh, come on. Contact may have elbowed him a little bit, but he didn't hit him that hard. He said second shots are going to decide this. And Atlanta was a, had a big advantage rebounding. There's an off the ball foul called now. It's going to be on Dominique Wilkins, his first personal foul. 
Let's take a look down low off the ball. We got Neek and Lambeer. They don't, they don't really like each other. This, this is an old story. It goes way back. Now Moncrief. Bud Webb is trapped by Vinny Johnson, who offers a helping hand. <laughs> Bud is some, isn't he? Amazing. Vinny getting a piece of the ball and then going for the ball again. See, unfortunately, Spud is so small, you don't have to hit him real hard to make it look bad. Pistons taking some air out of the ball now, running the 24-second clock to bring the game clock down. And Atlanta has obviously lost some of the fire in their defense, Ron. Joe leads the team in three-point field goal shooting. John Konkak getting position is called for a push. There it is. That was pretty obvious. Little action off the ball down on the baseline. John Konkak trying to set a screen on Joe Dumars. And I think John gave in a little bit to frustration there. That was not a good foul.